Hi YouTube, how y'all doing today? Got a Packard MX-13 EPA-13 motor that we're doing thermostats on. Uh, if y'all seen the other videos, I almost blew the engine on it because it overheated. If you want to do this yourself, this is just what you got to do. Uh, start off, drain your coolant. After that, you got two hose clamps that'll be on that hose right there. This pipe will be mounted like this. So you got a U-bolt, two nuts. The U-bolt holds this pipe and that strap right there. Get that out the way. Once uh, you also got your, uh, it's for the EGR and the block, your air bleeder hose. Disconnect that. So that way you have clearance on your wiring harness. Right here, there's gonna be a bolt holding down your wiring harness into, it bolts into a bolt stud. You only have to take the bolt off, leave the bolt stud if you want. If you take the bolt stud out, be careful because there's a washer you can lose up underneath it. After that, to help give your wiring harness some more room to play, you're going to have a bolt there. You're going to have a nut here. When you get this off, there's a bolt stud holds the rest of the wiring harness there. There's a bolt down here holds a uh, piece of steel that holds your radiator hose up. Get those out the way. When it comes to the actual cooler, the thermostat housing, there's a bolt back there. There's a stud bolt there. And then there's the there's a total of six fasteners. You got one, two, three, four, five. I'm missing one. There's another one back here you can't see. Uh, the one that's back here was a bitch. I had to use a quarter inch drive ratchet. The three eighths inch drive ratchet between the socket extension and the ratchet kept wanting to bind on the EGR cooler. Uh, I decided to use a 3 8 inch drive just to break it free, get it out, and then use the quarter inch drive to get it the rest of the way out. Once you get that out, over here on your housing you got an o-ring, your two thermostats. Uh, the old thermostats were both 80C, uh, if I recall correctly. The new one, is, I think this is a 81C, this is 91C. I'd put the 91C closer to your radiator hose. Uh, to get it free from the block when it was sitting unbolted take a hammer and just gently tap right here and it'll knock everything loose get it swapped out get it done y'all have a good one see y'all in the next one